Hey Dreamers, welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how we can set up a shield block mechanic for our characters like this that has some energy. Normally if we take damage, we take 10 damage, but if we're blocking, we take 1 damage. And obviously there's some energy there, like I said, that, you know, after some time refills. And if we get completely depleted on energy, we can't block until it refills. If you're interested in learning how to make this, stick around because I'm going over it right now. Okay, so to get started, I dragged out a blank puppet and uh, I made a little shield uh, sculpt. It was really quite simple. Um, if you don't know how to make one, you can always just grab one off the Dreamiverse. Anyways, I scoped this shield into the puppet hand and uh, I left it collidable because uh, it's a shield and I think it should be. Um, but I didn't label it or anything like that. So it just kind of sticks around on the hand, as we can see. And I have this timeline here that um, there's a couple things on here. This um, slows the character speed down, and it also turns off this node, which is the running pose parameter. So when we're blocking, we shouldn't uh, be running or look like we're running. And then I just made this little keyframe right here that um, puts the character into like kind of a block pose. Right, pretty simple. I uh, adjusted the hips and had them lean forward. I kind of turned the chest out a little bit and um, I held out the shield. So pretty simple. And now what we need to do is set this up. So uh, let's go ahead and get a variable. I'm going to get one out and we'll just call this blocking. Okay, so we have this blocking variable and we need to tie this into a controller button. So I'm going to use L1 and this will set the value of blocking continuously while powered. So this way when we hold out one, blocking will be set to a value of one, and when we let go, it will be a value of zero. So let me get out a little microchip here, and uh, I'm gonna put this stuff in here. When we're blocking, we'll go ahead and set the playhead position of this, and I'm using a signal manipulator so that we can have a little bit of uh, smooth rise and fall. And um, another nice little thing I like to do sometimes is we'll get a keyframe and I'll set this to remote controllable and I'll get a switch out. This is just nice for like debugging purposes because I, I have a feeling we'll probably be turning that off and on a lot. So I'll label these. So now if I ever want to try this remote control, I can just turn that on. So if I hold out one, we see he goes into his pose and when I let go, he comes out of it. Cool. So let's talk about damage mitigation. There is something new in the health manager here. This came out in the last patch called damage multiplier. So when we take damage, uh, let's say we're taking 10 damage from some attack. If it's at 100%, that means we take 10 damage. If it's at 200%, that would mean that we take 20 damage. And if it's at 0%, that means we take no damage. Okay? So. Uh, I don't really like the idea of shields being uh, a complete blocker, so um, let's make it so that when we're blocking, uh, we take 10% damage instead of 100. Okay, so let's get out a keyframe here, and I'll lower this down to 10%. So I'm going to label this mitigate damage. There's our keyframe. Okay, so we'll turn that on uh, when blocking is set to 1. Okay, so. Let's have something that uh, does some damage to us here. Let me get a little, I don't know. Bullets kind of don't really make a lot of sense, but I'm just going to do it for now because it's easy. So I'll set this little ball here, and I'll group a chip up with it. The chip is going to affect the whole group, and what it's going to do is we'll have this health modifier on here. And this will do 10 damage, and we'll do it on impact since the uh, player is collidable and so is the shield. That's fine. And it has this output currently modifying, and so when that happens, we'll destroy the object. Okay, so um, let's see. One other thing I need to do. Let's go ahead and turn off uh, gravity, and I'm going to lower the density because I don't think it needs to be moving our character around a lot. So uh, let's get out a emitter. And so we'll emit this ball like that. We can see we're taking damage. Cool. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and 
well first of all let's take a look make sure that works so if I start time I can uh, turn on the remote control press the touchpad we can see we took damage and there we go now we're taking a lot less damage so let's go ahead and make it so that we can actually see what's happening so I'll get a number displayer out and uh, we'll have the health the current health come in here so I'll just put this at the top center and we'll plug this current health in so there we go every time we get hit by one of these we lose 10 damage or 10 health and if we're holding the block then we only take one damage cool um, now another thing that would be kind of nice is uh, some sort of visual indication when we get hit so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this currently losing health in and let's get a keyframe out and I'll select all the body parts and I'll make it glow a little bit and we'll make it I don't know red or something Okay. This is going to be visual take damage. I put visual because uh, it's it's not affecting anything logically, just uh, visually. And uh, so what we'll do is, I don't know, we'll divide by 10 since we're taking 10 damage. And that will power this keyframe. Because the reason I'm dividing by 10 is this isn't just an on or off. It sends the actual amount that you're losing. Um, so this way... When we get hit, if we take 10 damage, it gets the full glow, but if we block, we can see it's much less, and uh, it doesn't look the same as if we took a full-on a full -on hit like this. Cool. All right, so we got this. Um, great. Now, uh, let's go ahead and build that energy bar that I, that I had set up. So the way I did that was with a text displayer. And let me turn off the grid here because we're going to need that off. So I'm not actually using text, but I'm going to be using the text box. So in order to get it to show up, just uh, click X on this and then just click R2. You don't want it to say uh, enter text because that means it won't show up. This way there's it's uh, registered as having some text even though there's nothing. That way it will show up when we play. So I'm going to make a little bar here. And uh, actually, one thing I want to do is let's align this to the left. That way, we can adjust the value. Um, all right, so I'll have one is just the bar. So, like this one's just going to be, we're not going to have the fill, it's just going to be the border. So, I'll label this shield energy border. And this will be the shield energy fill so this one doesn't need the border it also doesn't need the shadow um, there we go so by default let's make it blue okay and uh, yeah so let's get out a keyframe um, to set the opacity on these things so here's the f here's the uh, the fill we're gonna set the opacity all the way up and then on the border we're gonna set the opacity all the way up otherwise we're gonna have them not visible um, because it doesn't really make sense for us to be showing our shield energy if we're not currently blocking right so uh, since we want to let me go ahead and label this show shield energy so this is going to show when uh, this is going to show our shield energy basically so if we were to just tie this in like this this would mean that uh, that would only show up when we're holding L1 and when we're not there's no reason for us to see it Okay, so uh, how are we going to have this uh, energy match our shield uh, energy, right? Uh, so let's let's talk about this. So I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to move this down a little bit because uh, I think I'm going to need I'm going to need to use this uh, currently losing health to um, affect our shield energy. So let's say we want to take like five hits, okay? Um, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'll get out a keyframe. It'll be blank, and then we'll have another one. Doesn't matter how long this timeline is, and uh, this is going to be. This is the fill. This is going to be red. 
and we'll make it small. Okay. Okay, so if we were to let's turn this uh show shield energy on. We can see that that's how it kind of loses health, right? It goes from blue to red, and that looks kind of cool. Uh, but obviously, we're not going to want to just play it. We're going to need to take some sort of uh, logical way in order to sh showcase this. So what I'm going to do is let's get a, um, well, we can do it a couple ways. I'm going to get a signal manipulator out. And what we'll do is we'll put this on a pulse. So every time we take damage, it's going to pulse. And that will let us know that we lost some shield energy. So I'm going to plug this pulse, it's going to be a, a value of 1, into this calculator. And I'm going to loop it. So every time we get hit, that value is going to go up. Okay. So if we want to be able to take like a total of five hits, for example, uh, you could use a signal manipulator to do all this as well, but I'm going to use a calculator because I think it makes it um, easy to understand. We'll plug this into the playhead position. So we can see here we're at full shield energy, and if we block a hit, then we lose some of that shield energy. right? And if we take five hits, it's all the way down here, and it's empty. Right, so at this point, we shouldn't be able to block anymore, and we need to recharge our shield. Um, just to make this a little smoother, what I'm actually going to do is I'll get out a signal manipulator, and I'll put that between, and uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Okay, so here we have our, our shield energy meter. Let me go ahead and write this. All right, so now we have this uh, the shield energy. Obviously, we don't want it to show when we're not blocking, but uh, it's fine. We'll leave it on for now. And now we need it to recharge. So how do we get it to recharge? Okay, so let's get another timeline out. And this will be our shield cooldown. So shield cooldown. I'll label it shield cooldown. And I'll put a keyframe in here. Now we need to turn this modifier off because we don't want the player to be able to block anymore. So I'm going to label that appropriately. Let me go ahead and stretch this out. Let's say our, our cooldown is two seconds. Okay, I'm all right with that. This is called disable player block. So this way, um, if this cooldown is on, then we don't want to be able to block anymore. We want this to play once. There we go. Okay, so that disabled the input, but we also want our block. We want our uh, block value to be zero as well. So, uh, where did our timeline go? So we'll get out a variable modifier, and this will set the value of block to zero. Okay, so now when we take five hits, we can no longer block until this timeline is done, right? And currently we can't block yet, but that's the way our cooldown should work. And so now what we need to do is when this cooldown is done, we need to reset this value in this calculator back to zero. Okay, so uh, there's an easy way to do this. We'll take this value and, uh, oops, uh, we'll put this, we'll make this a subtraction. So we'll take this value, we'll plug it in there into the B port. So it's zero minus whatever value is in here. We'll plug that into A. And so when this value, or when this uh, cooldown is done, we'll power this calculator for one frame. So let's go ahead and see how that looks. So this is our energy over here. This is our cooldown, and so now we can see when we block damage, when we get to the end, we can't block anymore, and when that's done, this uh, gets reset, and now we can block again. Cool. And this is why I put the signal manipulator in there, because we want to have some sort of smooth fall off to have like a nice uh, visual indication that our shield energy is restoring itself, right? So that looks kind of cool. And so I think one other cool thing we can add visually is uh, we'll, we'll have the, the shield energy kind of flash a little bit. Okay, so let's, um, let's break this up. Let's see, there we go. Now we can see some frames. All right, so we'll have a, a default one and we'll have, oops, we'll have another one. And so what this is going to do is 
uh, we'll turn this, uh, we want the fill. We're going to, let's just turn it off. So we'll flash the shield energy while that's happening. So this is empty. So we'll just have these go, I don't know, I guess we'll do like 10 frames each. Let me stretch that out. There we go. Okay, so we'll just, uh, we'll do those back and forth. Like so. So now let's see what that looks like. So we can see it's kind of flashing and then it refills. And uh, if that's not enough flashing, Maybe we want it to be uh, half, half the half the length here. So I'll select both of these, bring them to the end. There we go. So now let's see. We lose all of our shield, and we can see our shield energy is flashing, letting us know that we're out, and then it refills. Cool. Now it doesn't really make sense for our shield energy to be showing uh, when we're not blocking, right? Um, and we don't want it, We definitely don't want to lose shield energy if we're not blocking either. So um, in the same way that we're only turning on mitigate damage when we're blocking, we also only want this stuff to happen when um, we're blocking as well. So I'll take the value of blocking and I will power the signal manipulator like that. This way we don't lose shield energy, um, but we also don't need it to be showing until we block, right? And so here we can see Let's see what shows up when we're blocking. Oops, uh, we can see what turns on and what doesn't when we're blocking. Okay, so I think what we need to do is inside of our block timeline, let me go ahead and label this block pose. We have our pose and we have our animation slowdown speed. I also want to set up the visibility on these things. So these things should um, be visible. So let's go ahead and set the opacity to 100 on the on the fill and on the border we'll set the opacity to 100. Otherwise they'll be off. So these should these should be uh, not visible now. Uh, something is showing them. Oh this. Okay so this show shield energy. So what we want to do here is we only want this to be showing basically when we're blocking or when we don't have full energy, okay? So let's get a calculator out and uh, we'll just say as if this shield energy playhead value is ever greater than zero, meaning we've taken some damage, then we'll turn this on. Otherwise, it'll be off. So now we can see when we hold up the shield, it shows up. When we hold up the shield, it should show up. Uh, I think I need to extend that past. And let me go ahead and label these. Okay. So now, when I hold the shield up, the, the, the energy bar shows up. And when I let go, it disappears, right? That's cool. Now, if we take a hit, uh, I don't want that bar to disappear because it needs to refill. And, we, and the player needs to know that um, you know, it needs to, to, to refill. Right, and then once it fills up, it'll fill up, and then if we're not blocking, it'll disappear, right? So um, that's one other thing we need to do, is we want the shield cooldown to activate not just when we're out of energy, but at any point, right? Uh, if at any point, like say we've lost this much energy, it doesn't really make sense for the player to have to lose all their shield energy to gain it back. That may be a cool uh, idea though, um, that you know you only have a certain number of blocks until you run out but if you wanted it to reset how could we do that so I think it's actually quite simple um, let me just clean this up a little bit so that we uh, have some nice room to work with things here let me go ahead and fix these wires there we go okay so and this is our uh, show shield energy so what we want to do is uh, we want this shield cooldown um, not necessarily the shield cooldown, but we want this thing to happen at some point. So uh, once we've lost energy. So let's say we get a little timer out, right? Um, and let's say the timer is, I don't know, three seconds long, right? The total shield cooldown is only two seconds long. 
So we could make it two seconds. Um, or if they haven't lost all of it, maybe it takes a little bit longer. So we'll plug this timer in here. This will be three seconds, okay? And so when it's finished, it's going to do a couple things. It'll reset this timer, and this will power this, uh, this calculator here. So let's take a look there. Let's uh, pin this to the screen so we can see. So if we take some damage, we can see the timer starts, and when it's done, it refills after three seconds. Now, uh, they shouldn't have played again, but it did, and that's okay, because we need to set up some conditions for this thing to reset. So one thing we could do is we could plug this signal, which is this pulse. Basically, every time we get hit, we want to reset that timer, right? We don't want it to refill like, see, we don't want it to do that if we're going to take some damage. So uh, if we take another hit of damage, it resets the, the cooldown, this timer here, so that if we take some more damage, we have to wait another three seconds. Okay, so that's nice. All right, and so that's it. We have our nice shield mechanic that uh, has some shield energy. We take less damage, and uh, it also refills our energy after some time. And, uh, yeah, there we go. So that's how you make a shield block. If you found this video useful, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. If you have any questions uh, about anything that I did and you were confused, please let me know because I'd be happy to help explain a little bit further. If you have any suggestions for other types of um, mechanics um, that you'd like me to cover, let me know. Like if you, uh, you want me to do like a shield parry, how could we parry an attack? I'd be happy to do a video about that. So let me know in the comments below. If you're new and you want to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. I hope everyone's doing well and staying safe, and I'll see you next time.